but I was getting this question a lot, um, and by a lot I mean two times, so that's enough for me. So we're going to automate the uh, mod wheel with an FM8, and I'm just going to pull up the plugin here, and go to my playlist, try to make this smaller. I usually work with dual monitors, so that's why everything's so big right now. Um, <clears throat> and let's see, if we want to automate the mod wheel, what we'd usually do for a third-party plugin is just jiggle it like I'm doing here, then go to tools last week, and create automation clip, but you can see it's not working for FM8. I don't know why it does this with certain uh, aspects of the NI synths, but here is a way to work around it. First, you're going to uh, go to the gears panel with an FM8, go to the uh, MIDI input port, and select zero. Now, I can link any MIDI controller to this that also has the input of zero, so I'm going to go ahead here and create a new MIDI out, and I'm also going to set that port to zero. It's already there by default. Now, I can move all these wheels, but nothing happens because they're not configured to work. So what I can do here is take the slider or any of these wheels and go to um, configure, and the default CC value, which is uh, the MIDI controllers, is 1 for the mod wheel, conveniently enough. Now if I accept this and go back to my synth and move the mod wheel up and down, you can see it also moves within FM8. If I just make it easier to see here. And you can now automate this within FL Studio, and we'll see once I play this, the mod wheel will work. See? So that's how you do it.